What's happening guys? For today's How To Tuesday, we're going to be working on the 360. There's been a lot of requests for the 180, but even more so for the 360. So I think I'm going to tackle that one first. And then for those of you guys that still want to see the 180, I'll drop that either next week or the following week. All right, so before we tackle the 360, I think we need to set up some basic guidelines. So number one, a 360 full circle. Half of that is 180. Learn your 180s first. Once you have a good foundation for your 180, you're going to want to try a Pivot 360. The reason I recommend a Pivot 360 as opposed to just flat out trying to hop three is because you're going to want to learn the concept of having your head and shoulders lead and your body following. So when you're going to rotate, you're going to be wanting doing this motion and a Pivot 360 is a safer alternative than just trying to hop three right off the bat. Again, in BMX, your foot placement is very important. Since I am left foot forward, my right foot is in the back, I'm going to be spinning clockwise, so I'll be turning to the right. The reason for that is that your back foot is closest to the back wheel, so that'll help push the back wheel around while your head and shoulders are pulling the front end around. Again, wherever your head goes, your body has to follow. So if you start pivoting to the right with your head and shoulders, then you're going to see that the bike is going to start to follow that path. So I usually recommend warming up with a couple 180s. Then once you have the hang of the 180 pretty good, then you want to take it to the 360 pivot. So as you can see in these takes, I start to spin much like a 180, except that my head and shoulders continues to follow through. So you're going to want to give it a good little yank, as you can see here, and have your head slightly twisted. Again, I'm doing it clockwise, so you're going to want to spin with your head turned to the right and your shoulders starting to yank to the right. You're going to want to give it a good yank, but nothing too crazy. It's going to alter your spin. Once you have your 360 pivots pretty dialed in, you're going to want to take it to the hop three. So what I first recommend is to start at a gradual speed, anywhere between a quarter of a crank to half a crank. Nothing too much faster because you're going to be fearful of committing to the rotation when you're moving a little too quickly. As you can see in these takes, I'm not going very fast. I'm relying mostly on my hop and my yank. The higher the hop, the more hang time you'll have, but you'll notice that when you hop too high, your rotation will slow down. So you wanna keep it something comfortable. Nothing more than like half a foot to a foot off the ground. Again, your first few 360s, um, they're gonna be somewhere between 200 to 250, maybe 300 at the most. So you're not gonna technically be able to like roll away forward smoothly but the more and more you practice, the closer and closer you get to the full 360. Some troubleshooting advice, if you're spinning and you feel like you can't even get past 180 or 200, maybe find a flyout because when you're launching off of a transition, you get more hang time and you could spin off the lip as opposed to when you're doing a bunny hop 360, there is no ramp. All your momentum is coming from your bunny hop and from your strength. Once you're feeling pretty comfortable and you're rotating these consistently, then you can start taking it to the bigger things. Okay, so to recap, first you're gonna want to go at a comfortable speed, then you're gonna want to hop and use your head and shoulders to lead the spin, followed by your back foot first pushing the wheel into the rotation and slightly tucking up. The important part of the tuck is that it's gonna keep your back tire from dragging or from catching the ground early and causing you to pivot out. Initially, it's gonna be fine to pivot a bit when you're first learning the trick. But once you're getting better and better and you're going faster, you're gonna to wanna to decline the pivot by tucking up your legs into your butt, basically. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope this tutorial helps a lot of you guys dial the 360 in. Tag me on Instagram, on your favorite threes. And like always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Cheers, boys. Oh my God. So, just barely. B.I.K. B.I.K. And I guess I already said I was going to switch people hard, so I guess I got to do it. Ain't no do-over in the last letter, bruh, bruh. <laughs> Alright, you went up that rail.